Well, it appears as though there's still a fair bit of work to be done on defensive combinations for the Maroons following this session against the Ipswich Jets. Queensland's 18th man for game one, Tom Dearden, actually swapped sides and played in the halves for the Jets and set up a couple of good tries against the Maroons' right side defence. Now Cameron Munster, who's been nursing a bit of a rib injury all week long. He was seen sporting the non-contact bib during the session, but he got through the entirety of training without any hindrance. And when Munster and the Maroons run out for game one in Adelaide next week, you'll notice as Queensland fans that they were sporting a new look jersey design that's sure to instill some extra pride and passion across all of Queensland. When Tom Flagler runs out for his first starting appearance in Origin, he'll take a piece of his hometown of Tully with him. They tell me it's a God's country up there, is that right? They call it that? Yeah, that's what everyone says. It's God's country, and um, I'm with that too. Forex has donated its sleeve sponsorship space for Game 1, replacing its logo with a postcode from where each Maroons player grew up. Grew up playing for Eastern Holland Park, and there's a lot of people that went into this journey for me, and the little coaches and water boys and all those sort of people when I was a kid. And, you know, to be able to go out there and represent Queensland and represent those people, it's pretty special. Val Holmes has a tribute to Townsville. Ben Hunt's sleeve is dedicated to central Queensland, while Flegler, a Tully Tigers cub, who transformed into one of the NRL's most ferocious forwards, is ready to wreak havoc on the Blues. I've always been an aggressive player and that makes me the player I am. So um, I'll be looking to go out there and... Um, do my bit for the team. Is there a Blues player you'd love to put a shot on? No, no. No one in particular, whoever runs the ball. Not Payne Huss? If he runs at me and it happens, it happens. Flegler has a desire to channel his aggression into boxing as well, with the Broncos prop keen to step into the ring for a bout during the NRL off-season. Maybe one day. We'll see how it goes. It's very intimidating. Uh, I'll take my hat off to anyone who gets in there. For now, it's all about the origin opener in Adelaide, roughly 3,000 kilometres away from his hometown. There'll be a few beers getting drank and, um, yeah, there'll be a lot of noise. And if you score a try, they'll probably run out of Forex in Tully? Yeah, 100%. If I score a try, that's going to be a miracle. At Sanctuary Cove, Adam Jackson, Nine News. Darren Lockyer joins me now live in Lockyer. Origin is six days away, but plenty at stake here tonight. The Dolphins without two Maroon stars. So, look, Cody Nicarima, an interesting choice at fullback, and then we've got Anthony Milford starting for the first time in two months. Yeah, Cody Nicarima, I reckon his best position is fullback. Very nimble on his feet and I think it allows him the freedom to be anywhere on the field so I think he'll be dangerous tonight well Anthony Milford gets another start at the number six I'd like to see him run the football more because that's his strength as well. Lockheed the Dragons forced into changes too with Ben Hunt in camp for Queensland are the Dragons susceptible without him? I think the biggest thing they're going to lose with Ben Hunt, obviously he's experienced, but he's the kicking game. Jaden Sullivan can play footy, there's no doubt about that, but I think they're going to lose a bit of game management with no Ben Hunt. So for mine, fins up tonight. Commentary commitments for you, Lockie. We'll let you go. Thanks very much Thanks for your time. Me. Enjoy the game. And, of course, Nine's live coverage of this game at 7.30 this evening. Well, injuries crueled AJ Brimson's origin dream, and the Titan star is doing everything in his power to get back on the field after his latest hamstring strain. Brimson took up Pilates in an effort to prevent more stints on the sidelines. Usually I'm kind of rushing back and trying to put on a game, so I'm kind of stressed. So I think, you know, having the two back-to-back -back injuries, I'm just kind of not having that end date, so then I'm making sure I'm right by the time I do return, there's no real rush. And a spine-tingling moment for the Broncos in New Zealand. A traditional welcome for players from the children of a Napier school hit hard by a cyclone in February. It was an emotional visit for Kiwi stars Jordan Rickey and Jesse Arthurs. The town was nearly wiped off the map by severe flooding.